I want to introduce Joshua Free. Thank you for Hi. joining me today. Thank you for having me. Okay, we're going to talk about the Anunnaki. That's okay. one of the main themes of my program. Why don't you uh, describe the Anunnaki and who they are to you in your research? Well, the research that we basically did, uh, I wrote this book, The Necronomicon. It's a new edition. Uh, it's a familiar concept, but the Necronomicon that I present is basically a re-examination of the most ancient tablets on the planet, the most ancient writings, going back to the cuneiform tablets of Samaria. They describe these beings called the Anunnaki as basically coming down and seeding civilization at that time. Uh, since then, there's been a lot of theories that emerge in modern times as far as the divinity, as far as the religions, but it would seem that if we go back to the most oldest ancient writings that we can actually rely on or interpret or that we can find, in the Middle East is where we find these, and it describes this race of almost perhaps sky gods descending and uh, seeding the human race on the planet. At first, it would actually seem that they came and were the sole beings on the planet. It describes uh, almost an, a hierarchy where you have Anu, Enlil, and Enki, and then a series of Watchers, or what they would call the Agigi. And these beings seem to be subservient to like a higher class of Anunnaki for a significant period of time. They, they were doing a lot of the manual labor and chores that you know we now do, uh, but basically at some point the tablets describe a rebellion where the Watchers cease to want to do the work and toiling of the higher gods, if, for lack of a better word, gods. Um, they in turn had an idea to create therefore a, if you want to call it slave race, to basically fulfill the same obligations to basically like building temples. Uh, gold mining. Gold mining is one of the theories that have been put out. Is, uh, Sitchin talks about uh, the gold basically being used for their home planet. If they came here, obviously they have to come here from somewhere. And this, this word, it's, it's interesting because this word, Nibiru, actually uh, means crossings. And it's, it's very, it's, it's difficult to say what that could necessarily mean. And uh, Sitchin says it's a, it's a separate planet. Uh, it could also have dimensional uh, implications, that these crossings are thresholds, a way that they communicate or move uh, with, with this planet.